Now, these notes have been uploaded in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in this chapter of sexual reproduction in angiosperms, today I will discuss development of stamen, development of anther, and in that anther, development of microsporangia pollen sex it means in this lecture today i will clear development of stamen development of anther and development of pollen sex or microsporangia first of all i will discuss development of stamens this development occurs in the form of small outgrowths and these outgrowths are of meristematic ratio. Dear students, these outgrowths which occur on this floral axis, it is torus, it is thalamus or it is receptacle. Dear students, development of stamens that occurs in the form of small outgrowths of meristematic tissue. And these outgrowths which grow fast and soon differentiation occurs this upper region which is bilobed structure and this knob like structure it is anther and this lower small stroke like structure it is filament this is the development of a stamen dear students development of stamen begins on this floral axis it is thalamus torus or receptacle on this axis small outgrowths which consist of meristematic tissue and these small outgrowths of meristematic tissue these are stamen primordia the growth remains fast and differentiation occurs this upper region it is bilobe this knob like structure it is anther and this small stalk like structure it is filament this is young anther dear students note down this young anther that is a mass of meristematic tissue and this young anther it is surrounded by an epidermis just below this epidermis it is hypodermis and this entire central mass that consists of meristematic cells soon this young anther it gets differentiated into bilobed structure each anther generally it is bilobed the condition is bithecus and in in each anther lobe one two three four four pollen chambers four microsporangia develop dear students in this lecture i will clear all about the development of anther development of pollen sex development of microsporangia First of all, young anther that is a mass of meristematic cells. Soon it becomes differentiated into bilobed structure. And at each corner of this young anther, these cells and these are archisporial cells develop in the form of small strips. Dear students, in young anther, which becomes bilobed at each corner, four strips of special type of cells, these are archisporial cells. And these archisporial cells which develop at each corner of young anther. So, four archisporial cell strip develop. Soon, the archisporial cells which divide periclinally. Not down competitive exam student. These archisporial cells divide periclinally. Means the divisions are parallel. As a result, two layers are formed. This outer layer and this inner layer. This outer layer just below the epidermis. It means in hypodermal region. This outer layer, it is primary parietal cells layer. And dear students, this inner layer, it is primary sporogenous cells layer. Now, the cells of this primary parietal layer, which divide 
एंटी क्लिनली एंड पैरी क्लिनली डियर स्टूडेंट दिस आर्कियोरियल सेल्स विच अपियर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्मॉल स्ट्रिप्स एट फोर कॉर्नर ऑफ यंग एंथर then these archesporial cells divide periclinally means the divisions are parallel as a, as a result two layers outer and inner this outer layer just below the epidermis it is primary parietal layer and this inner layer of cells it is primary sporogenous cells layer now the cells of this primary parietal layer these cells divide anticlinally at right to at right angle to each other as well as periclinal parallel division both types of divisions take place in these primary parietal cells layer as a result this primary parietal layer it produce wall of microsporangium at that wall consist of four types of layer outermost layer it is epidermis then the next layer it is endothecium and the next to this endothecium the middle layer and that middle layer consists of one two three layers and the innermost layer that is septum dear students note down in young anther that is a mass of meristematic cells and in that young anther which become bilobed at each corner means at four corners strips of archesporial cells develop and these archesporial cells which divide periclinally which divide parallel to each other as a result two layers are formed outer layer it is primary parietal and this inner layer it is primary sporogenous cells layer the cells of this primary parietal cells layer divide both periclinal as well as anticlinal to give rise the wall of a pollen sac and that wall consist of four types of layers outermost that is epidermis next to is endodermis then middle layer these are one to three layers and this innermost layer it is taped down now no down the cells of primary sporogenous cells which also divide to give rise a mass of microspore or pollen mother cells dear students this inner central mass that consist of pollen mother cells or these are microspore mother cells these are diploid in number and in this between this bilobed structure that is a connective it is a sterile tissue and in this sterile tissue vascular bundle that appears in the form of procambial strand which finally gives rise a vascular bundle this is all about development of stamens development of anther and in that anther 1 2 3 4 it means each anther is tetrasporangiate having four pollen chambers four pollen sacs or four microsporangia each microsporangium having two parts outer part it is wall and this inner part that is a mass of microspore or pollen mother cells and these cells are diploid each diploid pollen mother cell give rise a tetrad means four pollens four microspores are formed and in this central region in this sterile connective tissue a vascular bundle appears this is all about development of anther development of pollen sacs development of stamen as well as development of microsporangia